All right, so for this house here, this is the first attic. So if you take a look, I want to show you guys why it's important to know the layout of your house. So this is a pretty big one. And you see right here is a big cathedral that is blocking me from getting to the other side. And so there needs to be an other attic hatch. So you'll see. This is your big cathedral right here. And here's the second attic hatch right here that I have to cut to get to this whole part right here. So we've got our first attic here all complete. And now moving on to the second one on the other side of that cathedral. So this is the other side here of the cathedral. All right, so it's a smaller area, but we also have to cover the uh, garage, which is on the other side here. Gotta go through this little cavity. And so the garage, I would assume, is roughly, oh, it's close to a thousand square feet. Just going at the other end. So there's um, one thing that I wanted to cover actually is I got a question from one of my subscribers, or I would hope he's a subscriber, but he asked, is the fact that I have a shallow attic uh, mean that I need less insulation? Well, I mean, it's an interesting question. I mean, some people say, oh, that's obvious. But some people may um, think of it, insulation that is, as a ratio. So, you know, you've got a certain percentage of attic height and then therefore you only need uh, a certain percentage of insulation. So, but actual, in actual fact, that's not the case. So for insulation, obviously the higher R value, the higher the thermal resistance, um, especially for fiberglass insulation. Uh, for spray foam, it's, uh, you know, you don't need to go too crazy on the R value just because of how efficient it is. I've got a video in my channel that you can check out on the comparison that I have and that explains spray foam versus fiberglass. Uh, and so anyway, for any new home in Canada, we spray at, or we install blown insulation at an R60. So that's the current code. And that's uh, roughly 22 and a quarter inches of insulation of fiberglass. Cellulose, you don't need as much. Um, I install roughly, all depending on the material that you're using, um, about uh, 18 or 19 inches, and then it settles down to uh, either 17 or 16 inches over time. Uh, so with cellulose, it settles down, but with fiberglass, it doesn't, uh, because uh, fiberglass is uh, much lighter, much fluffier, uh, whereas with cellulose, it's uh, mostly, it's a lot of dust, and so the dust will settle and bring it down a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, in a shallow attic, you actually, it's even more imperative and more important to have a high R value because the air, so for example, in this attic here, there is a lot of air, right? Because the attic is very high, right? Uh, we're talking a good, I don't know, 16, I don't know, 12 to, 12 to 16 feet here at the peak of the attic uh, for the garage. And so if there's a little bit of heat loss coming from the ceiling, say during the winter, then, or even during the summer, if there's, you know, there's a lot of air, so there's, it takes more time 
for the radiant heat from the roof to radiate down and heat up all of the air here. Um, obviously, if you've got black shingles, then you're asking for trouble for radiant heat. But anyway, you know, obviously people go for aesthetics and that's totally fine. Um, now, with, uh, yeah, uh, going back to winter, it will take more time for the airspace to heat up, but in a shallow attic, it will take a lot less time for the airspace to heat up um, if there's even a little bit of heat loss. So you need a combination of those roof vents that are at the very top here, right? You see the uh, black holes there. Those are roof vents. That's uh, super important during uh, the, uh, the winter. If you've got uh, any sort of uh, loose fill material in your attic, definitely want those and you want a high R value uh, because then you won't have as much heat loss, you won't have as much um, condensation potential, right? Because if you got a lot of heat loss, then you can have a lot of condensation on your plywood. And then as more heat loss comes in, then that condensation drips down your insulation, your insulation gets ruined. So that's never a good thing, all right? So I want to sort of say that uh, that little bit of information for uh, the subscribers. And uh, so hopefully that answers that question. Um, I've already told the, the person that an R60 is my recommendation and uh, that it doesn't work on ratio so that, uh, so that he's a little bit more informed, right? Uh, so it's totally fine, you know. I uh, love seeing everybody's comments. So don't hesitate to leave a comment and I will uh, answer it. And in this channel, that's uh, the whole point of it is to share and learn from one another. Um, and at the same time, I also show uh, the awesome work that I do. All right, so I will uh, see you on the next video next uh, Tuesday.